Hey friend, in this video, we're going to do a special Father's Day card, greeting card tutorial. Our dads are so special to us. Our dadly figures are so special to us. So today in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to paint some cute, fun, easy Father's Day greeting card ideas. So you can mail it off to your favorite dad, uh, grandpa, or dadly figure, dadly fatherly type figure in your life. So if you're ready, let's do this. All right, it is time to honor our special dads and dadly figures in our life. Um, I have sketched out some ideas in a dark pen so you can see what we're gonna be doing. And basically just folded a sheet, I tore off a sheet of paper from my watercolor block and folded it in half. But if you have envelopes that you want to be, uh, that you want your cards to fit in, um, then you're gonna have to pencil that out and get the correct size, um, but I'm just gonna hand this, it's a bigger card. It's nine by 12 folded in half. What does that make it? Six by nine. Yes. Six by nine. Six by nine, which is a big card, but it's gonna be fun to paint. Um, and I've got it on both sides so that I can show you both quick and easy. Um, but we're gonna paint just like a close up of a dad, dad vibe um, with a vest and a tie and little card in here that says best dad. And then the other card is going to be a number one dad ribbon because it's cute. And I like the idea. Okay, so let's start with the best dad suit and tie. Justin Timberlake suit and tie pops in my head, but we're not gonna sing it because we're not gonna embarrass ourselves. Do it. No. Um, <laughs> I don't have Timbaland here with me to Give me the beats. True. So uh, we're gonna, I mean, we could go so many different directions. Like I want this old timey, old school, dad's got a pipe, uh, you know, vibe. Maybe it's like a tweed, brown tweed with a navy color tie, or we've got a fuzzy green vest with a red tie or something. You know, just go, go with the, the vibe you want. I'm gonna go with this like old timey, he's reading the newspaper and is smoking a pipe vibe. <laughs> great vibe. Super great vibe. And then I've sketched in this little pocket instead of a pop pocket square, uh, it's just a card that says best dad on it. And so that's what is on the front of the card. Uh, um, the shirt is probably gonna be white. I might add in some stitching. So I just got my sketch done, literally just a circle with the tie and some, some curves. It doesn't need to be perfect because that's what makes it really extra cute, actually. That like cutesy handmade vibe. So let's start with the tie. I'm gonna grab my size 16 brush and I'm thinking we do the tweed and I might do like a stitching pattern on top of it with wet and dry. So I'm gonna do a dark blue tie, just Prussian blue. my size 16 brush because this is a bigger area. So I don't need to sit there forever with my size six brush. I'm just gonna paint in my tie. maybe pull it down with just water so we've got something interesting happening. And then make sure I avoid my sketch of where the vest comes in and overlaps. I want this to be more of a dark navy. So I'm gonna go over this more black. Is one of these cards for me? No. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> You're not supposed to know that. Oh. Forget I asked. Mm. Blend. Blend, blend, blend. So really not that difficult, but just penciling it out before would help. We're just 
doing the little half circle, little oval situation, making sure we're penciling in. Well, in the downtime of this video, let's just honor some dads here. Honor the dads. Well, I'm I'm moving on now. I'm gonna. <laughs> terrible timing, camera guy. <laughs> you should know this. I'm gonna move down here to the best dad lettering because this is gonna be a white card, so I'm gonna be avoiding that area. Uh, I'm gonna paint this like a light brown, the best, with dark brown stitching details and maybe some navy and red cross hatch and maybe green for our tweed vibe. Think, what's the Robin Williams movie where he's a good teacher? Goodwill Hunting. No, no. Carpe Diem. What's it called? Oh my gosh. <gasps> what is it called? Um, Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. When he stands on the desk and he's at the school Dude, of Dude, I said Goodwill Hunting with so much confidence. I know, I, that too, because I guess he was good teachers multiple times. Well, I don't know. I don't, I don't know remember the storyline. I don't think he was in that one. I don't even know. He wasn't? Yeah, he You're was. You're thinking of Dead Poets Society. Dead Poets Society. <laughs> Nailed it. Dude, I used to love that movie. Okay, so I'm grabbing Scarlet Lake and a touch of cadmium orange on size two brush. And we're just gonna do some cute, like somebody just hand lettered this. Nothing fancy. We're just putting a little bit of pressure on our brush and holding it like we hold a pencil. Best. S's are weird with brushes. So just kind of go back over it. Maybe turn it sideways for your T. Downstroke. Best. And then the dad is kind of getting cut off by the pocket. So you just see it poking through. So the dad in the card just got a card. That's right. It's like an Inception card. card it is an card. Inception card. It's <laughs> pretty cool. Let's do some stitching detail on the collar of this shirt. I'm gonna have like a dark brown burnt umber and touch of Mars Black wash for the vest. So maybe I'll do some brown stitching. I want it to be more of a lighter brown, actually, not so dark. And then I'll do a lighter version of that with just mostly water for the edge of the collar. And now for the best. Let's do size 16, burnt umber, and just a touch of Mars Black. So it's more of that like chocolatey tan brown. Don't worry, we're gonna add the buttons later. Just make sure. You're going quick and using a lot of water. I like this little blue moment. So don't worry about that if that happens. I think it's fun and cute. Now we're getting close to the card in the pocket square, so be careful around those areas to not overlap the card. You want that to stay white, so we're just gonna outline. You can go over the trim or the top edge of the pocket, because we can go back over that with a darker brown once this dries, but just avoid the white where you want the card to go. 
You have a favorite memory with your father? Hmm. Well, I played soccer growing up, and he was my soccer coach for many years. And it's kind of the reason I played soccer. I liked having him as my soccer coach and going to the beach, learning to surf. Great guy. Great, great, great guy. Clinton. Excellent dude. Shout out to Clinton Babcock. Clint Babcock Fawcett. At the time of recording this, he retired like a week ago. Congrats, big guy. One of the hardest workers. Really good dude. Loves to ski. Lots of good memories on the mountain and him taking me on runs that I was not qualified for. <laughs> it's kind of like a textbook dad thing, right? I guess. Okay, we're gonna wait for this to dry. I'm gonna use my blow dryer here, handy dandy. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my size six to add a darker or a shadow line to accentuate this overlapped side of the vest. We're gonna add in some buttons and the little pocket detail, and then we're gonna add in the, I don't know if it's stitching, I don't know fabric things very well, but the like cross stitch pattern. Sounds right. I don't know. Um, okay, so I'm gonna grab some burnt umber, just a thicker version of our underneath layer for our vest. So some burnt umber and a touch of Mars black and just go along that edge. And then use that same color for buttons. This makes me want to dress like that. I'm wearing like an Adidas hoodie. Mm -hmm. Not Jabroni. Quite as, not quite as classy. <laughs> Same color for the pocket square. Maybe a little darker, I guess. It goes off the edge of the card. Maybe we do some stitching. Now, size two brush. I'm gonna do some brownish red, so burnt umber and scarlet lake for some lines. I don't know. You can pull up a reference photo for this if you want. So I feel like this is a, a thing I've seen before with these details. Some lines. Maybe some green. Making sure I'm not getting too opaque with these. So they're watered down, but this is sap green and Mars black with just some more water in it. So it's more transparent. And maybe some navy.
There's another important dad in your life we haven't talked about yet. Who? Oh. You're sitting right next to him. Well, of course. <sighs> yes. You aren't my daddy. Who <laughs> 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 <Yeah, laughs> is Um Yes. John Rainey, I'm just I do have to uh humble brag for him for a second. <laughs> is by far the best dad. Oh. It's true. Wow. It's true. Wow. He is so attentive with Miles, who is our two-year-old son, if you were unaware. So attentive, so loving. Oh. It's really hard to talk in pain mm. lines. It is. I know. <laughs> All amazing things. Wow. That you would want and need in a partner. That's all the, all the things. That's it's very, very fun to watch you as a dad. Very kind of you to say. I very much enjoy being a dad. Especially to the most cute. adorable two-year-old boy on the planet. He's definitely cute. In my opinion. In my eyes. Mm-hmm. There's probably a lot of other dads and moms out there with two-year-olds that think the same thing as you should. But they're wrong. So. Well, <laughs> uh, as you can tell, there's no like planned out method of where I'm putting these colors. But we're just kind of like staggering it. Cute. Very, very cute. He's a dad. <laughs> the dad. <laughs> it's a cool card. Mm -hmm. Would you be happy receiving this card? This one I would be happy with, yes. Okay. I might go in and add a dark dark brown right here to make this card pop. And final detail, a really dark brown, mostly Mars black, touch of burnt umber for a little X on the buttons. Cute. That's a cute card. <laughs> All right, so now we're ready for the other Father's Day card idea. I'm going to make this, I'm going to dry this first so I can flip my paper over. Obviously, if you were making two cards, you wouldn't put one on the front and one on the back. It so. looks like me and uh, old Clinton are going to have to share this card. <laughs> he gets one side, I get the other. You know what? That's a good idea. I don't want to do that over again. So Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Okay, so for this card, um, the ribbon really isn't that complicated and we're not getting really precise with the detail um, because again, we're going for that fun, cute vibe. I just start with the circle and then you can draw another outer circle if you want that as a guide for these little inner ribbon fan parts. <laughs> um, or you can just do what I'm about to do. It'll be really light, so it might be hard for you to see, but I'm gonna just eyeball the center of my paper and kind of go around like this, super lightly. I wanna go in the top third of my card because the ribbon has a tail. So just overlap so that you can get a good circle, a good guide for your circle. And then I'm just going to pour my fan detail, create these little rays, little sun rays. Some are gonna be taller than others. They're not gonna be perfect, perfectly spaced out either. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to see because I need to sketch lightly so it doesn't show through my watercolor. But I'm just going through and C curve, C curve, and then connecting as I go around. 
And then you're just gonna go towards the top of each of those rays and add in these C curves that go in between because that's gonna be part of the ribbon that's darker. And then for my ribbon, I'm gonna have a C curve come down here and just add in my little triangle at the bottom. And then the ribbon on the left side is gonna be overlapped. So I'm gonna pull from my right edge of this right tail, I'm gonna pull out the right edge and try and make it similar width. So I'm gonna do a blue ribbon, cause that's first place. That's right. It's gonna be a cobalt. So I've got cobalt blue from Windsor Newton. So I'm gonna wash over the entire ribbon and then I'm gonna add darker details, like in between each ray, whatever we're calling that part of the fan, and then darken this, this tail part of the ribbon and then add darker blue lettering on top. I want it to be a little bit smoky, so I'm gonna add Mar a touch of Mars Black to it. Go over the sketch with this light blue wash. Kind of weird watching my card being made. Mm, I bet. Making sure to go quickly so we don't have any hard lines as we're going through and painting this wet and wet. You might just kind of go over and add some shadow to the left edge of this circle. We're gonna go back over the outline of that circle once this dries too, to really make that defined. And same thing with the, the fan part of the ribbon. So don't you worry. I was freaking out. I bet you were. What about favorite dads? <laughs> <laughs> from like movies or TVs. What are oh. your favorite dads? Um, Mufasa. I mean, what? probably the best dad. Wow. You know who I would throw in the ring for best dad? Bandit. Bandit. Oh, Bluey. Bluey. I mean, we talked about Bluey on the on the maps video. The I literally, He's the coolest. I'm, in, I'm in, I'm not even joking. I'm inspired to be a better dad because of Bandit. <laughs> I hope the makers of Bluey watch this video. I think it's maybe a long shot. Yeah. But thank you, makers of Bluey. That animated dog dad. Mm -hmm. He's, he's such a good dad. So good. He's just a big kid. He's, he's, a, he's a great role model. Fabulous. For being like a good, fun dad. Mm -hmm. an, an imaginative, creative dad. Mm -hmm. Mufasa though, come on. Talk about a strong dad. Yeah. I'm more of a Marlin from Finding Nemo dad. <laughs> yeah, that's, if, you, if I were to describe how John is as his dad. He's definitely kind of a Marlin vibe. I think I'm Marlin meets Bandit. Yeah, for sure. But I John's a little bit of a helicopter parent. Oh boy, he's only two. <laughs> it's good. He would probably get really injured if it weren't for you. Because I just kind of let him learn things by trying. I think it's a good balance. Yeah. You and I. I need, I need to really up, I need, I think I got Bandit and Marlin covered. I need to up my Mufasa game. <laughs> so much lighter blue on this top ribbon tail part. And then darker blue over here. Because it's overlapped. 
I'm still gonna go over it a little bit and because it's just a little too light. Add the color and then just blend it in. And then when this dries, we're gonna go and add the detail on the fan part and then some shadows down here. So now that this is dry, I'm gonna go back with a darker cobalt. So just a thicker mixture of cobalt blue and the touch of Mars black. So it's more opaque and darker. And we're just gonna go in between and darken these areas, these little V-shaped areas that go in between the fan parts. <laughs> so I've gone through some of my favorite memories with my dad. I'd love to know your favorite memories with your dad or with someone who is like a dad if you don't have a dad or you lost your dad. It's a good call. <laughs> so comment below. And let's honor the dads. I didn't really talk about my dad. Oh yeah, how about you talk about your dad? Well, I just don't, I don't want to interrupt any teaching. It's now a good time. Yeah, now is a good time. I'm going to be doing this over and over. We talked about Clinton Babcock. Mm-hmm. Now for James Gilbert. By the way, both dads, really unique middle names. Yeah. Babcock and Especially Gilbert. Especially Babcock. Um, my dad, hard, hard working man. Also just retired. Mm -hmm. We have a couple of retired dads now. Good for them. Yes. Um, we watched the Green Bay Packers together a lot <laughs> from Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. We did a lot of hiking uh, at Governor Dodge State Park. That was a lot of fun. Um, and yeah, and I mean, can't talk about James Gilbert Rainey without talking grilling out. And Euchre. And cards, specifically Euchre. A lot of Wisconsin things happening. I mean, literally no joke. We would go hiking on like usually Sundays and then on the way home we'd stop at a cheese factory, <laughs> obviously, <laughs> and mm. get the most delicious cheese curds. Dude, so Wisconsin. <laughs> I mean, it's so Wisconsin and it's like, I mean, talk about a wonderful Sunday afternoon. Um, when we would go, um, when we would hike, my dad's thing, every once in a while he would chant, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Don't know why, don't know where that came from. I mean, obviously that's from, what, what's that from? That's from... I have no Oz? idea. I think so, it's from Wizard of Oz. If, if I'm wrong, commenters, unite. I think it's Wizard of Oz, but if it's not, I need to know. Please let us know. Um, we do a lot of uh, backyard football and I would usually be on my dad's team because I'm the youngest of, of three boys. Three boys. So the older two would be a team. Youngest and dad would be a team. Yep. Okay. Sorry to cut you off. Don't be. This is what we're here for. Uh, we're now going to deepen the curve of this little circle button part of the ribbon with a dark blue maybe blend it in a little bit so i'm going to pull this out with some water and keep fading it with more water leaving a little spot for a little shine mm. Okay, now we're gonna add shadow down here, make this little crisscross more defined.
and then lighten that a little bit with water and come down here for adding some shadow. Both my brothers are dads. Yes, they are. And your brother's about to be a dad. Yes, he is. Yes, brothers as dads. Brothers are dads. Wow. Definitely very weird that my little brother is about to be a dad. Yeah, that's a, it's just like a weird thing. I, I mean, feel I don't have any younger siblings, but I would imagine if I had one, it would be a strange thing. Mm hmm Okay, so this is pretty dry. I'm gonna grab some Prussian blue, cobalt blue, and Mars black. And we're gonna letter in number one dad. Right here for the number sign. Making it a little fun. It's very fun. DID. I'm using the side of my brush. There we go. If you wanted to, you could add some, maybe your favorite things to do with your dad, maybe play baseball, throw cat, throw ball, play catch. Maybe you could paint a little baseball and a bat or maybe he uses tools a lot. He's a handy guy and you could paint in like a hammer and a screwdriver or some leaves in the background. This would look good with, you know, some orange and yellow color for contrast. Um, but I like it just as is. I do too. And since that card is for me, I approve. Okay. There you have it. Then you write your sweet little notes inside. There you have it. I'm really excited to give the dads in my life these cards. John already knows, so that's kind of annoying. But um, uh, if you came up with a good idea for dad Father's Day card ideas, like something other than the vest and the ribbon idea, drop them in the comments below if people want to try those out too. Maybe they have many, many dads to send cards to. So mail them out to your favorite dad or give it to them in person. If you are seeing them on Father's Day, fa there's Father's Days in different countries that are on different dates though, huh? No idea. Yeah. Not great. Rainies aren't good at holidays either, I guess. <laughs> so okay. um, Father's Day is coming up for us in the US, maybe in the whole world, not sure. Um, and so I'm going to give these to my dad and my husband, John, who is the father of my child and the YouTube guy who keeps making all the background noise. <laughs> so, oh, also comment your favorite memory with your dad or fatherly figure in your life in the comments below. Since I shared mine, John shared his, his was very Wisconsin-y. Um, would love to just have a little, little peek in your moments with your dad. That's all. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one.